What's up everybody, welcome back. Snarling Jaguar today. He's kind of like on his belly crawling. So we're gonna do the head and then maybe some of the body around. Think about drawing a Jaguar, lots of spots, <laughs> right? So, okay, let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause. If I go too fast, start with the eyes. Center point of my page is about here. We're gonna come over to the right. Start with the right eye on this side. So we go up and over. Kind of flicks up at the end. Right, real dark, and then it comes down, around, and in towards the nose. Right, real sharp. So then the eye, right? So a circular, big iris just coming around here. Right, and then we're going to add dark black all around here. Okay, so then the pupil of the eye just in the center here, it's pretty small. Just here, like so. And then what I like to do with the animal drawings is add, like draw in a highlight, right? So you draw in like a circle beside the eye here, right? And then you can add some shadow underneath the eye here just some hatching lines right just some diagonal sort of lines that maybe crisscross in some places coming down the eye like that it just makes it look a little bit more 3d right like so so then around the eye we have some details right so we've got like an eyelid line just coming across here and then something coming around the bottom. Like so. And then big cats and like wolves and stuff, they have this kind of whisker area right here, just a furry sort of bumpy area. Right like that above their eye. And then there's another sort of eyebrow line here. Okay, so that's kind of the anatomy of, of the eye. So we'll go over and do the other eye. So you're about eye width across, right? They're quite close together because they're so big, right? So you can fit his eye sort of in here, okay? This whole black section fits in between, and that's where the next one starts. So you just go up again, and across the top of that eye and it kind of spikes up here and then this will like curve down around and then come to another black pointy section just here the iris then another circular area just in underneath the top eyelid curve it around and then we will color this black The pupil, black circle, just in the middle, or as close to the center as you can get it anyway. Like so. And then we'll add a highlight. So we'll put it on the same side. Right, like so, and then some hatching. It's coming down around the eye. Like so. All right, so then some details around the eye. So like a little eyelid line here, coming around there. And then they have this big sort of eyelid line that comes around the bottom of the eye. And then we have this eyebrow section again sort of sometimes they have whiskers that like come out of this right, and then another sort of eyelid eyebrow area here you can add some texture lines and stuff on this like so 
Okay, so the nose, right? So see the width between the two eyes, between the three features of the face, the nose, the eyes, the two eyes, you have this equal triangle, right? So roughly, the width between your eyes will bring you down to say the middle of the nose, say, right down to about there. So you'll have an equal triangle between the eyes and the nose, right? So the nose is roughly here. So if this is my width, I'll just go curve it down that way. And that's where the nose will be, about the middle of the nose, right? So if the middle of my nose is there, we've got this line that comes down the center. Then the nose bumps around here. And then we have the nostrils. So it kind of, we got this pink section, right? That curves up here and around. And then we bring it around the top, back up to there. So we have another black section that comes down towards the snout, right? So it comes down all the way down here. And it curves around, it becomes the lip, right? So like the, the lip is all here. And this is just colored black. That's for the nose. So then coming out here, we've got this snout, right? So it's got this sketchy sort of hairy line curves around big sort of carving line nearly goes right up to the eye right and curves around in there for a snarling part of the mouth right you do the same thing on this side curves the whole way around and see how far it comes out it's like to the edge of the eye right all the way up into there right so because we're snarling right we've got like these extra little lines on the side of the nose and everything little curve lines and stuff that carve down here and then one up the middle goes around to the eye and on the other side right so stuff like that and then you could have like lines just going up the middle of the head some like cheeks here you know, some like bags under the eye just going around like that so the bottom of part of the mouth right so that's mo that's most of your wrinkles you can add more wrinkles if you wanted right And then the bottom jaw, so we've got a lip part and then a hair part. So, so we'll do, we'll do the lip part first maybe. So just coming down here, we've got this smooth sort of black section. Right, that just comes around his chin. like so right and then we have like this black fur that comes all the way down the outside of this and becomes this sort of hairy chin and this goes all the way up to the snout up here. 
Okay. So then we got teeth all inside here, right? So big fangs that stick down here on each side. Okay, and then we got like some smaller teeth that come across here. And these ones are kind of sharp-ish that stick out there. And then we got like the gum line. And then there's like real teeny tiny little ones. That just kind of bump across like that. Then fangs on the bottom, and they're kind of sticking up, right? So they're we're looking at them from a different sort of angle. Okay, so let's see. Well, we can see the tongue first. We'll do the tongue. Tongue kind of comes just across here. Pretty flat. Like so, and then down, like so. And then this fang sticking up here. And then another fang. And these could have like a line just going down this way just to make them look like they're a bit 3D. 3D. And then, so we've got like these small circular teeth. here and there's two big ones on the outside of it again and then just in here one two three four right and they've got like some tops to them like that and you got like the gum line just coming around here And there's another black edge line like here and the lip comes out from behind these teeth comes around like so and then we seem to go up the side of the mouth here and make some more sort of wrinkles and stuff on this And that's kind of all black in here and then pink on the tongue and stuff. All right, so that's pretty much the mouth. Okay, so like hairy here, black wrinkly skin all here. Okay, so then the head, jaguars have like big white heads, right? So, and it can be a furry sketchy line, you know, he, it is a furry creature. Or you can go smooth if you want, you know, it's up to you. But we'll carve it around roughly sketchy like that right same on the other side right around like so and roughly about here about eyebrow level this sort of eyebrow maybe like an extra sort of line just coming up that way so we meet the ears right so one ear here bumps around twice and then it'll go down towards the head we do the same on this side so it like bumps kind of twice and then it comes down towards the head again and because we're kind of hunched over we can see some fur for the top of the head but it kind of joins the back so there's like a spine area right so the back keeps coming over here So it's kind of lightly drawn in. And then, so we've got like this hairy sort of section that starts here. Lots of this fur that just sticks out. Kind of like that, right? Okay, and then something similar on this side. So you'll just come down. Maybe that should be more like that. And then fur. F 
fur lines like so. And just like the shape of the head sort of coming around here, right? Okay, so as I said, he's on his belly sort of thing, right? So his shoulder and his back comes down here, right? So this is, say, the shoulder, and it will stick out to an elbow, so just beside his nose here, right? like that. And this comes down towards the paw. Right, and then the, the back goes up behind the ear, sort of that way, right? And it'll come down into here. And then you'll have like another sort of shape there, and then the paw, right? Let's see. So we've got like the arm, the fold for the arm going this way, right, to the elbow. And then this paw comes down like so. And then we meet hairy sort of toes, right? And knuckles, right? So we got like one knuckle, two, three, and a fourth there, right? And you got like the paw coming across. This is like the, the bones of the hand. And then we've got like a nail sort of section, but it's like furry. And this is all sort of hairy here. And then we've got this nail. It's all kind of connected. Okay, so it's like he's crawling towards us with that claw sort of like hand there. Okay, so then at the back we can just see his like rib cage sort of coming down here. And then his, his hind leg sticks out and goes back in behind the paw here. Right, and then the other elbow and arm comes down from the head, like here. Right, and this kind of sticks out and then comes down this way. And then comes out from underneath the chin. And you can see his paw going that way. Down for like his knuckles again. Just the tops of them. Right, so that's like his arm here. Just you should see his belly there somewhere. And then like the back and the hind legs and a little bit of the tail, right? So we can see like the belly on this side coming down there and then like another sort of part maybe of his leg. Coming around like so and then just some of the tail curving around. 
it goes in behind here and it's like a snow leopard tail you know it's like really really thick Right, like so so it's like crawling towards it's terrifying okay so now that we got that done the next step is all the spots right so I'll start with the whisker spots right so we we'll start here so curving around the face so this will take a while so we gotta we gotta go fast I think Right, and then we start adding the spots all over the face. And you're going to add, like, following around different shapes, like the eye and stuff. And there's, like, a big long spot on this thing. Right, so you're just going to add smaller ones, like, in the center of the face, they're really small. And they get bigger as they go out the body, right? So there's no sort of rule to this. You just... Start adding the spots. And you like start curving around his head. So you see I'm following the curve of his head. And there's like teeny tiny ones in here. All right, let me just keep doing this. You're following the curve of the body. And they get bigger the further down the body they go, right? So, the, fur, the like as it goes, travels back along his back, they get bigger. Right, all the way down to the tail where they're really big. Okay, so you kind of just keep adding. So when they're pretty big on his back. When we get to the legs, they've got these sort of pattern on them, you know, these kind of round ones. Like that. And then so sort of do the same thing over here. So we want to make it curve, look like they're sort of curving around the arm. And then on the tail, so they're real, they're biggest on the tail, it looks like. So they're like these. Right, like that, right? And then I'm just gonna thicken up some of my edge lines, just coming around his face and add some whiskers as well. So just making all this stuff sort of darker, stand out a little bit more. Just whiskers now, so like really long whiskers now. Crazy, ridiculously long whiskers, right? Just all coming off here. They're, they're done in white, but because this is a black ink drawn, you've got to, uh, just work with what you've got. All right, and then there's some more dots here, actually. All the way out past the tail sometimes.
and they have some on their eyebrows as well. So like here. Oh, and I forgot a black sort of space in this as well. Right. There you go. Snarling Jaguar. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.